Hi kids, I'm Storytime Pup, and welcome to the Storytime Pup Show. I'm so glad you came by to play. I love when my friends come by to play, and you're one of my friends. Are you ready to have fun? Let's see what we're going to do today. Magic Marker, show us what we're going to do today. Yay! It's storybook time! We love storybook time! Well, hi kids! And thanks for stopping by for today's book! Today's book is The Lonely Little Star. And it's written and illustrated by Kathy Summer Flynn. Are you ready? Okay, let's get started with today's book. Walk hand in heart with the lonely little star through his first journey in this all-new four-book series. Find the hidden destiny star on each page to help guide the lonely little star on his mission to find his special place in the universe. The special day had finally arrived. The day that Mr. and Mrs. Twilight had waited for and longed for so long. Their dreams had finally come true and now they had a baby star all their own. But why were all the doctors and nurses whispering? Most of all, why were they calling their pride and joy the Lonely Little Star? That certainly was not the name they had chosen for him. His name was supposed to be Timmy, Timmy Twilight. Mr. and Mrs. Twilight examined their baby star very carefully. Yes, it was true. He was different. He was not the same size or the same color as the other stars in the nursery. But they agreed that they would love him even more because they knew he was a very special star. A star of destiny. In their eyes, he was perfect. He filled their hearts with joy. Mrs. Twilight was so proud of Heaven's gift. As the lonely star grew older, he never understood why the other stars pointed and stared at him. They even whispered about him to each other. He grew bigger and brighter until he was much larger than all the other stars. They called him the Lonely Little Star. They teased him and bullied him and did not want to play with him. It made him feel sad. Every night, as Mr. and Mrs. Twilight tucked the Lonely Star into bed and said prayers with him, they always thanked God and blessed their Star of Destiny. They explained to him that God names and places each star in the heavens at just the right time to fulfill its own special purpose. Then they hugged him tightly, kissed him goodnight, and said, Sun, shine, shine, our treasured star. Shine because of who you are. star watched as one by one the other stars were given their places in the heavens and their nightly jobs to do. He saw that some stars helped people on earth with directions as they traveled. Other stars helped people tell time. He wondered why God hadn't given him something to do. His parents always encouraged him to believe that God had a very special job that only he could do. When the time was right, he would know in his heart what that job was to be. He would know his special destiny. The lonely little star decided that he needed to learn the meaning of the word destiny. The dictionary said, it is the plan for your life. Even though he didn't really understand exactly what the word meant, 
He tingled all over, and it knew it must be something very good. Hmm, he thought. What could be my destiny? There was only one way he knew to find out. Pray. Dear God, my parents always tell me I have a special destiny, so you must have a plan for my life. Since I'm not really sure what it is, please guide me every day so I won't miss it. P.S. I would really, really like to have my very own friend. Amen. Twinkles! Ta-da! In a time that is to come, the future best friend ever! In a world far, far away, while God is quietly designing the plan for your life, what you look like, where you will live, who your parents will be, He's considering everything, even who your friends will be. While we always have the option to ultimately make our own choices, God, who loves us so much, has planned for special friends to arrive at the appointed time when we need them the most. Friends come in all shapes and colors. These special friends have eyes to recognize things about you that others cannot always see. A true friend loves you on the good days and the bad. Friendships are keys to help you unlock your destiny. Because our parents desire the very best for us in every way, they pray that God will send us the best friends ever. While you are busy living your life, your future friends are busy living theirs. Until one day in a time that is to come. Such is the story of the lonely little star and Twinkle, his future best friend ever. So what did you think about today's book? I thought it was a nice book about that lonely little star. I hope you enjoyed today's book. I'd like to thank Kathy Summer Flynn for sharing this book about the Lonely Little Star. The Lonely Little Star is a Mom's Choice winner and a Global Book Awards finalist. <laughs>